always love listening to that. Metroid Samus Returns on 3DS. This is the very first thing that you hear when you pop that uh, cartridge into the system. It's the most epic feeling you're ever here. Hello everyone, GBA049 here, and welcome to uh, even though that I'm already having a, I mean, even though, even though that, I'm, that, that I'm already in progress of uh, of an of another let's play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, I've decided to like uh, do another let's play alongside this one. So, welcome to the first episode of of Let's Play Metroid: Samus Returns. I have made a poll on the in the Metroid Amino. Yes, I still use Amino specifically for that community alone because that community is just absolutely great. It's too bad that it's in a dumpster fire of a social media app nowadays. It used to be so it, it, it used to be it, it used to be so great, uh, you know, you know, years, you know, like years back. But I digress. It's no longer the same anymore. But uh, yeah, anyway, I digress. I. I I made a poll on uh, on the Metroid Amino to, um, you know, have uh, people vote on which difficulty of Samus Returns I should, uh, I should, you know, play this, uh, Let's Play on, and annoyingly, all three options, uh, were tied for quite a bit, and I decided to, uh, you know, just make a, a second poll of, like, you know, just like a, make another poll on on my Discord server in the funnies, which is invite only. So I, I can't really give access to anyone that because it's a personal server that uh, we use all the time, all the time. And uh, three people voted for fusion mode, and that is exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to play Metroid: Samus Returns on fusion mode. Yes, I have the uh, Metroid: Samus Returns amiibo, which. Uh, it's no exaggeration, but, uh, it's the equivalent, well, okay, this is an exaggeration, because people say this all the time, that in order to obtain these amiibos, you practically need to sell your fucking kidney in order to get them, which is ridiculous, and I, and I practically had to spend, like, uh, exactly the, the, the amount required that it, that, that it, the, the exact, uh, quantity required to, uh, well, just, well, just change the, just change the word of the same meaning. Okay, GBA, whatever, whatever works best for you, I guess. Just, yeah, I, I, I basically like a you know, same quantity required of, you know, the the, the cost of a kidney, one hundred and ninety nine bucks on eBay, and it was a, I'm pretty sure it was a, it was a buy it now auction, but uh. Looking back, that okay. Looking back, uh, even though that I, the, even though that uh, the the Samus Returns amiibo was the Samus Returns amiibo were um the I, I don't know my my most uh, wanted uh, amiibos to to have in my collection, worth it. But at the exact same time, it's not because the designs are amazing. And, uh, and, 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 and this, and this silly little motherfucker that I have in that, that little motherfucker that, that, that I have in my hands right now is what's needed to get fusion mode. The infant Metroid is what you need to unlock fusion mode, and that's precisely the reason why I got those amiibos to begin with, but, oh my god, they were borderline expensive, and it really, really hurt my savings. And, and to this day, I'm still trying to replenish it. Well... What well, the savings outside out, savings outside of the bank anyway, but oh my god, it, it killed a lot. But anyway, let us finally begin. Metroid Samus Returns. This is a very unique gem in the uh, Metroid series, and along with the Metroid uh, with the Metroid Two. I guess you could say the unofficial, uh, as much as I want it to be official. Um, trilogy of Metroid 2 Return of Samus because uh, all three of those games are are tied like, like okay all, all three of those games are a three-way tie of being my third overall favorite Metroid game in the series so, so much to the point where I just cannot select which one is my favorite because I love all of them equally this game included now however Quite a few things have uh, changed over the years uh, about uh, about my, my my overall thoughts and feelings to uh, towards Metroid: Samus Returns itself. 
Um, I have to say that, uh, this game didn't really age all that well in the grand scheme of things, because considering the following that, uh, this game arrived very late in the 3DS's, uh, lifespan, and also that, um, this game kind of, uh, was basically the main reason why AM2R was, uh, you know, taken down by Nintendo for, you know, selfish copyright reasons that is, that is banal and, and banal and unoriginal as, as it always is, as, uh, you know, by, by their default, un unfortunately, default nature when it comes to protecting their IPs and such. At the same time, Samus Returns didn't really do, didn't really do anything necessarily wrong. It did, it did introduce some, uh, some very interesting and, you know, game-changing mechanics, uh, here and there. And also, uh, improved a lot of the, uh, Metroid 2 uh, Return of Samus's uh, map by making things, but, you know, actually giving it, okay, gi okay. The, 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 the biggest game-changer, the biggest game-changer in Metro Metroid Samus Returns is that it, is that it implements an actual map system for once. So that's a help. That so, so so that's so that's a plus there. That's just, that's always a plus. And another thing that it, another thing it introduced is the melee counter, which became which became I'm pretty sure is is about to become the uh the uh common staple of the uh of you know of future Metroid titles, the melee counter because uh. It was, um, an experiment for, uh, Mercury Steam to test the waters of, of implementing, uh, you know, you know, more finesse and more, and more action in, in Metroid's, in 2D Metroid's gameplay. And, and so they wanted to, like, uh, you know, okay, 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 bottom line, bottom line is, okay, story cut short, Metroid Samus Turns is, uh, by production and by existence, in my honest opinion, an experiment tested by Mercury Steam, uh, an, an experiment uh, tested by Mercury Steam, uh, that is, um, that, that, that gave, that, that, okay, that paved the path forward to Metroid Dread's, um, development. Mercury Steam, this entire game is an experiment to Metroid Dread, and, uh, they succeeded well. They, they, they succeeded tremendously well in that regard, but unfortunately, marketing wasn't really the best. Actually, actually, the marketing to Metroid Seven Returns back in the day was okay, uh, to an extent, but what it, but, but what it, but what it lacked overall was sales. I really don't understand why uh, Metro Series Turns like didn't really sell all that well in the long run, and I'm not gonna go like uh, like uh, include like you know include the um uh, uh the idea that uh, Metroid isn't isn't necess isn't technically uh uh considered that popular uh is it, 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 Metroid isn't technically popular in Japan so uh, I, w w whatever the reason it um. It, it really did. It really did deserve a chance at the time, and for what it received, it was pretty well. It, 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 it was pretty um, vocal, but not but but not ear splittingly vocal that Metroid Dread was not by a long shot. But it's still a but it's still a really great game that I that, that I that I recommend to uh, anyone that that wants to uh, that wants to experience like a little bit more on Metroid Two: Return of Samus. But it's definitely not the game uh, meant for veterans at all. Actually, no, I take that back. Okay, okay, switching that around, it's polar opposite. This game is not meant for beginners. Not, not at all. And, uh, it shows by its difficulty, even on normal mode. And, and since the fact that I'm using, and since the fact that I'm going on fusion mode, this is going to be a very interesting outset, to say the least. So, let's begin. Gonna go start a new game right on here. Sorry, new game will cause you to lose all of your current progress. Yeah, it doesn't really matter all there. And, let's go. Fusion mode, begin. In fusion mode, enemies are even more powerful and you can play as fusion suit Samus. Current date will be erased. Yeah, I already know. So, here we go. Metroid Samus Returns, beginning the story. 
previously in the uh, first mission of Metroid Zero Mission or Metroid NES. This is what follows immediately afterwards. Galactic Federation research team discovered an unknown life form of planet SR388 while they were able to successfully obtain a life living sample. Should I continue reading this or should I just like, or should I just let it slide? I mean the artwork. I mean the artwork in here is is absolutely fantastic. And I also noticed that uh, that uh, the uh, space pirate uh, like boarding pod ships for Metroid Zero Mission are also in this artwork. I never noticed that before. That's a really nice detail. And it looks like that uh, th that ship in the center is is a is the uh, is the Galactic Federation research team right there. So they were the ones that that, that discovered the. Uh, <coughs> But they discovered the Metroid, took it back, and, this, and they and they got uh, ravaged by, by space pirates uh, on the way back. No coincidence, space pirates had set their sights on these curious organisms called Metroids. Replicate the sample and exploit its ability to absorb the energy of any life form. Yep. What? Well, use Metroids as a weapon, powerful enough to conquer the entire galaxy. And Raven Beak is responsible for this entire crisis, which is absolutely fucking insane. There is a dispatch of lone bounty hunter to infiltrate a space pirate base on the planet Zebus. Destroy the planet, fight Mother Brain on an extremely tiny platform. That, honestly, that, okay, that shot right there of Samus, uh, like, you know, fighting Mother Brain is extremely freaking silly. Because, look at the size of that platform compared to, compared to her pose that she sees, like, she's basically, like, I don't know, I don't know. It's it's really silly to me that uh, that Samus is like standing on on such a tiny platform that that's big as her entire body, because uh, it's just, she's practically balancing. She's basically like uh, on a game of of a balancing for her life against Mother Brain in this scene, but it's it's still a really cool shot. Also it looks also it's it's kind of interesting of how even though that there are no Metroids while you're fighting Mother Brain, uh, Samus is is. is is caught in the is caught in Metroid's grasp and just you know yeah the Metroid is just grab is, is grabbing onto her left arm it's just like nah don't worry about it I've I've been through worse trust me concerning by those developments blah 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 the Galactic Federation mounted another expedition SR388 and our okay special quadrant of the soldiers and that is the very interesting uh, design for the Galactic Federation Marine soldier in, the, in this artwork because I'm used to I'm, I'm used to the prime design. Prime design will, will, will always be the, will always be the will always be uh, the, the the superior model. My eyes, anyway. I mean, it's extremely freaking iconic because it has their logo on their helmet. Team soon went missing, but not before transmitting small sampling small sampling of data back to headquarters. And okay. An, an, a, another interesting thing about uh, a, 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 about about this part of the part of Samus Return's story is that there is that there is literally not a single piece of evidence or or, or like any 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 evidence of the uh, of the missing quote unquote missing of uh, Galactic Federation police. They were sent there to investigate and they went missing. What happened? What happened to their corpses? Are, are they anywhere? No, they're not. Are they found in an Easter egg? No, they're just gone, wiped out from existence. What a universe to live in. So long as he continued to exist, these Metroids would forever pose a devastating threat to the galaxy. So what's the solution here? Genocide. Not just any genocide, mass genocide of an entire species. The resulting decision of the Galactic Federation Council was immediate and un and unanimous. That was our it's like, all right, case closed. That's exactly what we're doing. Samus, you do it. No questions asked. If you if, if you disobey, oh boy, it will not be pretty. It will not be pretty. Samus, Aaron, you must exterminate the Metroids once and for all. All right. Nope. All right. No objections. No objections here, GF people. I will gladly do just that, but it's not going to be an easy one. This is not going to be an easy mission because this is on fusion mode. And the reason why I and the reason why that uh, I was you know I was I was thinking to like uh, go straight to uh, was it, uh, okay reason why I was thinking to like uh, you know 
thinking to like immediately start playing Metroid 7 Returns on Fusion Mode is because that, well, I wanted to like show off the uh, cutscenes that that show the the that show Samus's fusion suit in this game because there's barely any gameplay footage of this in existence anywhere on YouTube unless you go in some unless you go to places somewhere like I don't know IGN, GameSpot, or Game Explain. But if you but for uh, but for actual gameplay, I'm I, I, last time I checked there last time I checked when I was trying to like search for something. There is barely anything, so this is a change of pace. But at the exact same time, the reason why I made that poll is because I was scared. I was actually frightened to like, uh, you know, start this game in 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 fusion mode. But here we are, no going back. It won the it, it won the poll by courtesy to my friends on the, on the funnies on Discord, and uh, I wouldn't say that uh, I wouldn't say that uh, I. Uh, like I want to say that they owe me for this or necessarily because I practically brought this upon myself and uh, yeah this is gonna be one this is gonna be one hell of a beast to conquer and if you and if you're wondering on how, on just how difficult Sam, on just how ex, just how difficult fusion mode is in Samus turns listen to this it takes two hits to get killed by a hornode two. So, yeah. Look at that. Immediately right off the bat, 99 damage straight down to 19. Yeah. I had to be extremely careful going through this entire game. So, yeah. And I also... And, 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 this, and this also practically requires, like, um, uh, you know... Basically, the sixth sense. Know exactly where you're going, what you're doing, what the enemies are going to do, and knowing, and just, like, you know, pay attention to your surroundings at all times, because if you don't, you're going to be punished hard for it. And I almost did, just right there. Missiles, use everything, use literally everything in your entire arsenal to get, to, to get somewhere in this game. Also, this is one of the, one of the few issues that I have with Metroid Samus Returns, as, as, as far as the game design philosophy is concerned, is that okay? Concerning the uh, concerning the melee counter mechanic in Metroid: Samus Returns, even though that then improved a lot in uh, that improved a lot in the Metroid Dread in every way, shape, and form. In Metroid: Samus Returns, it is introduced and thrown in and, and just and shoved into your face so so excessively and so and so tediously to the point of where, where this game feels, you know, where this entire game is extremely experimental. This game is very experimental at best and tedious at worst, especially when you, especially when you start the game, because, oh my god, these, uh, these flying bat enemies are thrown everywhere, everywhere at the start of it are thrown everywhere in the, in the surface of the planet and it is extremely annoying to seeing them you know like seeing a galug just <clears throat> seeing a galug yes that's what that's what they're called just you know basically oversaturating a hallway like like every 30 seconds you move for, for every 30 seconds you like scroll through the game it gets very old and repetitive very quickly. So, yeah. So there we go. We got the Morph Ball. And now we can just... Uh, just continue on from, from where we need to go. But not but not quite over here just yet because... Oh, wait, never mind. I actually do need to go over here because... Uh, some secret signature that I haven't gotten yet. Obviously, I'm need... I, also, saving is going to be very essential here as well. <clears throat> Another thing that, uh, th that's very interesting is that Metroid Service Turns reuses a lot of audio samples from the Metroid Prime series. You're going to hear that from the user interface, the, the user interface, the, um, uh, fanfares, and just, just about, you know, everywhere. And... Oh, wait, hold on a second. I actually forgot to uh, get that uh, missile expansion that was uh, right down here, but unfortunately, I can't get back up. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just move around. 
objective right over here is to uh, go through this uh, little Metroid uh, scanner, Metroid detector device devised by the uh, Toha, by the Toha tribe, and I guess to an extent the the Machin tribe because uh, they were with them the entire time. Even Raven Beak, even Raven Beak arrived to like you know. Just pull up a just pull up a fucking reversal on everything. It's like uh, nah, change of plans. I kill you, and uh, therefore uh, this uh, the, this species is mine. This species is mine, and I'll uh, create a plan while I get home. Oh wait, never mind. That plan I wanted to do is now backfiring uh, twice over thanks to uh, thanks to daughter and. Uh, Unforeseen, uh, unforeseen circumstances. Dubbed the X Parasites. Oops. And here begins the second interesting mechanic in Metroid: Samus Turns. Aeon abilities. Aeon abilities. Scan pulse. Very ex extremely helpful when you're when you're searching for items, and just overall very useful to like. Uh, Search for uh, Metroids that search for Metroids uh, in the area of the planet that, that, you're, that you're currently in. Very simple, very easy to use, ex extremely helpful, and uh, yeah, I'm just being repetitive as hell right now. That was extremely close. Yeah, it's a fanfare uh, when you pick up a uh, pick up an item from. Uh, from, from the Metroid Prime series. Not that I'm upset that uh, they, uh, that they that they reuse a bunch of samples in, in the Prime series because uh, I really do love the Prime series a lot, so it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's it's not a problem. It's just fan service. It's glorified fan service to like uh to, to reuse to re, to reuse a bunch of uh, you know to, to reuse a a, a little. A, 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 a few um, audio samples for uh, for Samus Turns uh, user interface, and it's great. That and also this game is like a, a love letter, and also an apology letter to uh, from Nintendo to the Metroid fans. Like uh, I'm sorry for abandoning this, uh, for almost nearly abandoning this uh, this beloved franchise that that you apparently love so much. And so I'd like to make up for it by remaking something that remaking a game that is uh, well. Way past overdue for a remake. Did it succeed? Yes, they did. But uh, it's not. But it's de but it's not a perfect one by any means. It's still really fun. I still I I, 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 I still really 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 do enjoy uh, playing Samus Turns a lot. I just do not want any of my uh, I just don't want my commentary to like uh, be cut short instantaneously when I, when I take when I simply take a hit by enemies because oh my god this this game can be extremely stressful early in by the time to get the by the time when I get the lightning armor things would be significantly much more easier and uh, less stressful in the long run so let's hope for that. One thing that I'm kind of disappointed in, however, is uh, the remix of, uh, of of the surface of SR388. It's not. It's okay. It, it's 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 definitely not uh, the uh, remix that that that, that 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 you know that that's all you know that, that makes you all excited and it's like this is the greatest thing ever. Far from that. I'm just a little bit nitpicky on uh, the instrument, the instrument that they use for the main melody, and it's not, it's not that, it's not that much of a good listen. I just don't really, do, I, I really don't like the choice that they that, that they made to to like uh, the choice they made for uh, the main melody, uh, the, the, the choice of instrument that they use for the main melody, because I don't even know how to describe it. It's just high pitch and just kind of ruins the, just ruins uh the oomph, the impact, and the flow of the, the soundtrack all together. I mean, I just can't take it seriously. What even is that? Why did they choose that of all things? Why can't they just like a stick it? Why can't they just like stick with, I don't know, the vocals and this, you know, just, just stick with vocals. It was, it's perfectly fine, but just, it's perfectly fine with the vocals. Just, just remove that silly instrument. 
I just, I, I just can't stand it. Another thing that I can't stand is that it's extremely fucking underused in this, in this entire game. Surface of SR388 literally and figuratively only plays on the surface of SR388 in Metroid Samus Returns. Not when you're descending, not when you're descending like what, not when you're descending like you're, like you're in, uh, like, like in the original game. I mean literally exclusive to the, uh, exclusive to the, uh, to the service for SR388. Very, very underused for all the wrong reasons, but it's nice to come back to every once in a while, but why did they have to, like, why did they have to, like, you know, simply let go on that so quickly and, 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 and so early on? I just don't get it. But, yeah, anyway, we are, uh, we have, uh, we've gotten everything that we needed to, uh, basically cleanse our way through the surface of SR388, so far at least. I do, uh, plan on, uh, I do plan on getting, like, every single item in the, in the game, but it's, but, but, but all of it is not going to be on, just, all of it is not going to be shown on screen, because that would be way too time-consuming. And also, frankly, exhausting for my posture, because I, because I have to, like, uh, sit in a very uncomfortable position. Well, actually, not, not uncomfortable, because uh, it's it's fine. I'm slouched, but that's a problem. Note to self. Always do, always do exercises every, always do exercises before, before playing any 3DS game that you, that you want to make a recording of. Ideally, yoga. Would have been nice to have like I don't know an instrument like a remix of a uh, Surface of SR388 playing and the, the actual Surface of SR388 when you're descending downward, but no, it is it just has its own ambience. But I guess it's fine. Another thing that I really like about Metro Seven Strange is the visuals, background visuals, the the, the exterior exterior layout, interior layout, and uh, and and and, 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 and overall the visual effects. The, the effects themselves are like you know, absolutely perfect. Get used to get used to seeing these glugs in hallways. Get, get used to seeing glugs in hallways because this this is literally only the beginning on how on how often hallways get cluttered with enemies that are just you know eager to reveal their weakness to you. Case in point, they always do that. It doesn't require all, all that much effort to like uh, to, to like uh, counter enemies because uh, it's the it's okay. It's the delay of of timing the melee counter Samus turns that makes it so nearly effortless to like uh, take care of every enemy that, that that it throws at you. Well, as long as uh, as long as you don't get too overwhelmed or or swarmed by a or, or swarmed by, but by, by a whole family of of enemies pissed to see you, like glugs, mohiks, uh, remolkins. I fucking hate the remolkins in this game. And uh, before and, and, and before you ask, yes, they are ex they are brutally overpowered in uh, in Samus Returns, and annoying. I've died I've died countless times by by the remolkins in, in my test run of this game. Oh my god. Countless times in my, in, my, in the yeah. shit. In my test run of this game, and my god, they are incredibly tanky. A lot more taker somehow a lot more taker than they are in the original game because uh, they're very hard to get rid of. You can only you can only like uh, take care of them with the uh, with more fall bombs. Or just really Gravits, on the other hand, are, are are absolutely are absolutely no issue whatsoever because uh, they you just, you just take care of them with a simple missile and they're dead. No melee counter required. But uh, sets are sets are hidden underground until you approach. It can be quite dangerous to traverse uh, to, to, to traverse land with, if you're not paying close attention. Shoot leeches are significantly shorter and uh, and weaker uh, in comparison in comparison to uh, in comparison in comparison to uh, the original game, 
and they're smaller for some reason. But, oh my god. Stronger Mohiks. Electric Mohiks. The bane of my existence, Mohiks. I fucking hate these enemies. Oh my god. You do not want to know of how much you do not want to know of how much on, on, on how much damage these these things these things deal on on, on fusion mode. It, they are a nightmare. They are an absolute nightmare to deal with in here. Okay, by the time I get like uh, my uh, oh my god. By the time when I get uh, my um next upgrade. Oh no. When I get my next upgrade in uh, area one which I think is going to be the Ice Beam. I'm going to go call it quits and take a break here. I'm, I'm going to go call it quits and, and, and take a break and just, uh, and just uh, you know, call it quits. But I, I'd want the... Oh, my God. No! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, welcome to Fusion Mode. Where everything uh, is is uh, is is a potential instant death hazard. That is, unless you're fighting Proteus Ridley. Little cute fact about uh, Proteus Ridley in fusion mode. With max HP, his command grab can one shot you. I've tested it. I'm not kidding. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Well, let's hope I, let's hope I, uh, you know, saved in time because, uh, but, but yeah, anyway, as I was saying, yes, believe it or not, Proteus Ridley's, uh, grab attack, I guess you can call this, this game's version of Space Pirate Rush is instant kill. Uh, yeah, be careful. Ideally, just go in morph ball mode. It can't, he, he, he goes, just go in morph ball mode. It, 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 he can't grab me there. But if you do get grabbed, just hope to God they have the lightning armor because that's your only saving grace. That's your, it's literally your only... Oh my god. That's literally your only saving grace when you're fighting Proteus with in infusion mode. Because... Yeah. Don't get clumsy. Even though the Proteus Ridley can be... Even though Proteus Ridley is a relatively piss easy... Uh relatively piss easy um uh, by default because uh he, he follows a very um you know very easy oh my god easy to follow pattern that's that's very you know easy to telegraph anyway back in here i'm just gonna go make this quick so we grab it just die already Hollow Knight taught me, and just look down. I hey, recently, uh, I got introduced to a Hollow Knight, and, uh, it's fun. It's really fun. Recommended. And I believe I have, and I believe I have, uh, chosen the perfect time, started the perfect time to, uh, play Hollow Knight, because, uh, I believe we are getting very close to getting very close, hopefully, to getting Silk Song because I I, I feel like I I feel like I started the I I, I feel like this uh, this this year for me specifically is the perfect time to get into Hollow Knight. I don't even know if the, I don't even the I don't even know if the unity issue is still a is still a thing to worry about considering the, the development hell cycle that Silk Song is going through. But uh, people are still hanging on, and that's great. Um, let's see. Oh, right now. Okay, so it's not the uh, ice beam that, that they need to get. It's it's the morph ball bombs. I think. Oh wait, no. I am not going- wait, I think I am supposed to go through here. Careful though. Be ready of the dribbles. 
I hate you. You're dangerous on deep. <laughs> You're dangerous by default anyway, so... Yeah. Just don't get hit. As often. That's the rule. That is the uh, rule when uh, when you're playing this game on fusion mode. Uh, all oh, right. There you go, missile tank right in here. Get out. And we're out. Okay, nearest safe station. I'm ignoring you. I'm taking, I'm taking the initiative by ignoring you. By all means necessary, except you. So I kind of need to go through here, I'm pretty sure, because there's a safe station right here. Oh, wait, no. Not yet. Really love butts jumping around in this room when there's no galugs to worry about. <sighs> that was close. Okay. You're gonna see. You're gonna be seeing a lot of close calls in, in, in this playthrough because, as a fusion mode does, it is no joke. Fusion mode is no fucking joke. Yeah. Even the most experienced veterans like myself will uh, be caught extremely off guard. Like, will, will, can and will be, be caught off guard in fusion mode because of how much, just because of how much fucking damage you receive by a single hit of an enemy. Case in point. Ugh. Okay. Uh, shoot leads, get out of here. Where's the safe station? Please give me, give me near safe station. Ugh. Oh my god. That was close. Got him. Go down here. I think right here is where I get the ice beam anyway. Uh, no, that's where I just get a uh, save station. Hold on a second. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna use the scan pulse real quick. Whoa. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a safe station nearby here. Let's go down. I'll, I'll, I'll go down here. Uh, this is where I get the uh, ice beam. Okay, this is taking way too damn long. All right, so we got the ice beam. In my uh, first playthrough of uh, Metroid: Samus Returns, being uh, my, uh, I guess you can say the uh, blind run of this game, which was, I think it's like a, one of my uh, one of my first. Uh, Let's Plays that, that I made on this channel. Celebrating its release. I'm trying to remember what exactly what it was. Oh, yeah. On the, uh, I believe it was the third episode that I made on my first Let's Play I did of, of Metroid Samus Returns. Way back in 2017. Holy crap, I sound like a total retard. Um, the uh, third episode, I uh, titled the uh, video "Rip Rest in Peace Ice Beam," thinking that it was uh, somehow nerfed because of how you know short-lasting the uh, freeze duration is for uh, for freezing enemies. I. For some odd reason, completely forgot that the charge beam exists, and uh, I don't think anyone can blame me on like uh, on, on, uh, on forgetting about the charge beam in Samus Returns because oh my god! Not only that, uh, the charge beam in this game is extremely, extremely weak. And wait, in words that in which I cannot describe. Like, don't even try, like, don't even bother trying to use a charge beam in, like, uh, in, 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 in ordinary combat or anything like that, because it is not worth it. It is embarrassingly weak. Just take my word for it. 
Just try to, like, uh, use a, uh, pseudo, uh, screw attack and you'll find out exactly what I'm talking about, and it's not a good look. It's, it, not only that, but, uh, th not only that, but it requires quite a lot of buttons to, like, uh, you know, to, like, <laughs> quite a lot of buttons to press to, to even use the, uh, charge beam effectively. Like, when you're, like, uh, like, when you're using 360 aiming, uh, 360 aiming, uh, angling with the, analog with the, the circle pad, jumping, using Aeon abilities, like, switching between them. Just constantly holding, just constantly just, like, you know, like, holding on to the Y button can be extremely uncomfortable, and it's best to just, like, just, just stick to, like, using your missiles and, uh, melee counter, because, th because that mechanic, l like, legitimately just carries you through throughout the entire game. Doesn't require all that much effort to master, either. Metroid Dread fixed that, thankfully. But, yeah, that will to include the end of this episode for, uh, Metroid, uh, Samus Returns. And I uh, hope to see you again in the next one, where we will just uh, continue our uh, quest of mass genocide. The only game that I can think of, of doing so, is uh, very um, fun and oddly relaxing. Just seeing the numbers go down, and it's like, hey, mission complete. I don't know how they did that. Nintendo managed to, like, genocide. Nintendo somehow managed to make mass genocide extremely fun. In a game, in, in gameplay perspective, I don't know how. I don't. I, I don't know. I, I I don't know why. I don't know why it's. I don't know why it is like that. But it's just how I feel. It's fun. Metro Two: Return of Samus in general is just extremely fun. But yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you later. This is GBA 49 signing out, going offline, and see you next mission. Finally, Mike. Finally, my outro actually makes sense because I'm playing a Metroid game. Uh, but I'm not going to go change it. I'm keeping it the way it is. <laughs>